Jean, do you have a minute? I'm fine. What's up? I'm going to be able to come back to America soon. Really? Yeah, I can't stay long, but I'll have time to take care of a few things. Oh, that's great. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. What are you talking about? I didn't really do anything. You work for a company and don't get much time off. I'm sorry. Oh, I've got it. You don't need to worry. So, have you settled down? It's not easy. It's expensive just to get by. That's true, isn't it? Prices have been going up for a while now. I've got no time to be poor, though. <laughs> well, if you can joke like that, I'm sure you're not in a tight situation. Well, it's tough, but I'm doing my best. Don't worry about me, okay? Anyway, take care of yourself and come home, sis. Thank you. I'll call you when I get home. Tell Mr. Nick I said hi. I will. I'll be waiting for you. Jean, are you busy now? I'm just coming home from work. Is something wrong? Has Nick told you yet? Told me what? Oh, he hasn't? It's been five years since my husband died, right? Yes. I'm getting a little old, and it's getting lonely living all on my own. That's why I asked Nick if I could move in with you. Did you? I haven't heard anything from Nick. He's busy with work too. Maybe he forgot? I think he may have just dazed off and forgot to tell me. That's rude. My son would never daze off at work. But it's true. Well, whatever. I was wondering if you'd consider it. Huh? You can't move in right now. Because I've been talking to Nick about it for quite some time. I had no idea. This is the first I'm hearing about this. Then give it a thought. So, we can't live together right now. Our family's financial situation is on the edge right now. It might be really difficult to add you into the mix. Huh? I'm not that high maintenance. Plus, Nick is making so much money. Why can't I take care of him by myself? Hmm... You really haven't heard anything from Nick? About what? No, it's fine if you haven't heard anything. Anyway, our finances aren't looking too good right now. And we don't have enough rooms in our apartment. So, it will be a little while before we can live together. My, you really don't want to live with me, do you? That's not true. Nick is your only son. I'm planning to have you live with us later on. But you are still in good health. Could you please wait a little longer? Hey, I want to move in with you right away. So get your living situation in order as soon as possible. Okay. Jean, have you thought about the moving yet? Huh? It's only been three days. There's no way that my living situation would be ready in just three days, is there? It's your duty as a wife to take care of that, isn't it? You said you were looking for a bigger place to live because it's too small at the moment, right? In the future, so it's not right now. We're having trouble with money too. It's not something we can afford right now. Why? Nick works hard every day, doesn't he? If Nick earns enough money, there's no reason we would be short of money. Unless you're the kind of person who can't manage a household budget? Wait a minute. I'm pretty serious about managing my finances. If I wasn't, I'd be on the streets. Are you kidding me? If Nick's income is not enough, then maybe you're spending a bit too much. Huh? What do you mean? If we made that kind of money, I would. But that's not the case. Then why don't you work? I've been working, though. I've been working since I was single. Then why don't you work more? 
I don't have the time. If you want to move in together so quickly, why don't you work as well? Huh? Are you going to tell an old person to get a job? What kind of a wife are you? You're still in good health. I'm sure you can work part-time somewhere. If you can help pay rent with that, you can move in right now. Don't be silly. Why should I pay the rent? Usually it's the other way around, isn't it? Don't the kids take care of the parents? If I could do that, I would. But we can't do that. What the hell are you doing with Nick's income then? What do you mean, what am I doing with it? I spend it on living expenses. We're not living luxuriously or anything. What do you mean? Nick is earning money, but he can't pay for rent and moving expenses? If that's the case, please talk to Nick, not me. Mom? Oh, Jean, what is it? Is Nick visiting you? He hasn't been home for about five days now. Nick's at home. Why hasn't he come home? Are you really that clueless? You don't care about your mother-in-law at all. Is that the reason? What other reason could there be? We were making plans for the future together. What plans? I've told you many times, living together. Are you still talking about that? Well, it's true that Nick should know the situation best, though. Nick's very concerned about my living situation. I'm really lonely, you know. We're gonna find a nice bungalow. He said I'll soon have a nice spacious house where I can enjoy my time with him. <laughs> huh? How could you say that? What do you mean? I'm sure it's no big deal for Nick. My son earns over $8,000 a month. What? And yet you don't give him any attention at all. You should take better care of him. It's not that I don't try to give him attention. It's just that I don't have time. You wouldn't understand. Hmm. What's it like to be a wife who doesn't take care of her husband like you do? You're right. I don't understand. What are you even saying? Anyway, me and Nick need to discuss and prepare for moving in together. I'm going to stay here with him for a while longer. It'll be easier for you too that way, right? Well, I won't have to worry about meals or laundry, but... I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. See you later. Jean, can I talk to you for a minute? Sis? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm back safe and sound. Well, good. Let's have dinner together. Yeah, of course I will, but... What's up? I'm at our house right now, and I was gonna pull the weeds, but... Jean, you weeded the house, didn't you? Weeds? Sorry, I've been working late and haven't been able to get over to the house. But the garden is neat and tidy now that it's been weeded. I thought you were the one that did this, Jean. No, I didn't. So, there might be someone in the house? What? A burglar? I don't know. I thought I closed the curtains too. Yeah, they were closed when I went there last time as well. Now, I can only see the inner curtains. So, someone's been opening and closing the curtains? I'm the only one with a key to that house, right? Yes, because I left it in your hands. That key is kept in our safe. Only I and one other person can open that safe. Nick? Yes. But what is Nick doing in our house? I don't know. I'll go check with the neighbors. Please, sis. Sorry. Jean? Sis, how did it go? Yeah, that's the thing. The neighbor said you moved back in about a week ago. Huh? A mother and son? They all said they came to say hi. No way. What's wrong, Jean? 
Actually, my mother-in-law asked me if she could move in. I told her that we don't have any money right now and that we'd have to wait a little longer. Then, for some reason, Nick didn't come home anymore. I asked her about it and she said he was staying with her. What is Nick doing? I don't know at the time, but now I think I've solved the mystery. That was about a week ago. I see. That's when, she said, Nick said he's looking for a bungalow. I think that bungalow was our house. What? What in the world was she thinking? Nick knows that you and your husband won't be back for a few years. He was going to move in and live in your house. What a man. I can't forgive him. Jean, calm down. There's got to be something we can do. Well, first, I'll try to message mom. Okay, you do that. Then I'll wait for you to tell me what happens. We'll be at mom and dad's for now, so don't worry. Okay. Mom, please pick up the phone. Hey, Jean, what's up? I'm at your house, but it's vacant. What happened? Oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Actually, we've moved out. We? With Nick. I was going to tell you sooner or later. But you were reluctant to let me move in, so I left you alone for a while. So, you're with Nick too? Yes, because you don't seem to appreciate a boy who makes stacks. We were wondering what to do with you. Huh? Since you've been so cheeky every time I talk to you, I was thinking you should divorce Nick. Divorce? That might be a good idea, wouldn't it? You're living on Nick's income. How can you say such a thing? You shouldn't joke about it. No, I'm not joking. Mom, do you seriously think Nick is earning that much money? It's obvious, isn't it? That's why I care so much about Nick. I'm not like someone here. Okay, let me ask you. Nick came to live with you, right? Did he go to work? Huh? I don't think someone who can earn a million dollars would take weeks off of work. Nick said it was because he could work from home. Nick, you really are a liar and a scumbag, aren't you? Watch your mouth. Nick doesn't need a wife that talks about him like that. You will get a divorce. Fine. I don't want a husband who complains a lot and only makes $200 a month. Huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean $200 a month? It's Nick's monthly income. He only works part-time. And that part-time job, he's been skipping it for the past two weeks, hasn't he? What? I'm telling the truth. His monthly income is only $200. How do you expect to live for a month on that? Stop lying. I'm not lying. I brought my savings account book because I knew you would say so. I'll take a picture and send it to you now. This is... It's a picture. You can do whatever you want with it. You rewrote the text in the picture, didn't you? How can you rewrite text in the picture? I don't know how to do that. I'm telling you, Nick only makes $200. Stop making up stuff. I'll really get you guys to divorce. Go for it. I don't want a husband who lies like that. Really? If you're going to go that far, then fine. I'll live happily with Nick in this house he bought for me, so you can enjoy your life as a single person. You can't live in that house. Why not? Because that house belongs to my sister and her husband. Huh? You've got to be kidding me. What kind of stuff are you making up this time? It's you guys that are making things up, aren't you? My sister had to move overseas for a while because of her husband's job transfer. But she just had a new house built, and she didn't want to rent it out to strangers. She asked me to check on her house from time to time. What on earth are you talking about? The key to the house was kept in our safe. Only Nick and I can open that safe, right? 
What? So you think Nick took the key without permission? I can't think of anything else. The day Nick stopped coming home, the day you moved into that house, when you put the neighbors' testimonies together, it all adds up. No way! This is the house Nick bought for me. If you insist, I can send you the details. The house is my sister and her husband's house. They couldn't have children for many years. They have been undergoing fertility treatment, but they gave up on having children because they were suffering emotionally. They gave up on having a child because they were having a hard time mentally and bought the house with their education fund they had saved up. Oh, no. But about a month after the house was built, my brother-in-law was transferred to Japan. They had to move out. While my sister and her husband were away, I kept the key to the house and worked around the clock. Sometimes I would change the air or clean out the weeds while I was checking on them. Nick knew about it too. He knew? Yes, he knew, and I think that's why he came up with the idea. My sister happened to come home for a bit a few days ago. She went over there a while ago and called me to tell me that something was wrong. But your sister will go back to Japan soon, right? Then there's no need for this house. Jean, you should negotiate with them to give us the house. You're his wife. You should at least do that. How thick-skinned can you be? Besides, Nick and I are done. Why? I just filed the divorce papers. What? You're lying to me again. What the fuck? Since Nick's been here all this time, how can he fill out the divorce papers? If he doesn't fill it out, he can't get the divorce. Actually, he did fill it out. <laughs> what? When? About five months ago, I think. You don't seem to know about it. Nick quit the company he was working for. What? It's already been eight months. Nick did not look for a job at all after quitting the company. He was relying solely on my income to survive. That's a lie. Nick is making more than $8,000. Eventually, he withdrew all his savings and became a gambling addict. I told him that if anything like this happened again, I would divorce him. So I had him fill out divorce papers and kept them just in case. That's why I was having a hard time making ends meet, even though I had a stable job. I didn't know that. No matter how many times I asked him to stop, he showed no sign of stopping the gambling. There were probably times when he'd be out of the house for hours, right? Come to think of it, he said he'd go out for a meeting or something. I'm sure he was at the casino. But now, you've tried to take over my sister and her husband's house, so we're done. Get out of that house right now. Wait a minute. Where are we supposed to live? We sold the house we were living in, remember? We used that money as a down payment to buy this place. Who told you that? I left it to Nick. I'm sure all that money is lost to gambling. <laughs> I don't think there's a penny left. Oh, no. But if I get kicked out of this house... I won't have anywhere to go, will I? Jean, you should negotiate with your sister and her husband. They should give up this house for your poor mother-in-law. Mom, you say the funniest things, don't you? Well, we're gonna be divorced, so I guess you aren't my mother-in-law anymore, though. Why should I give my sister's house to a stranger? That will be pointless. Well, what will happen to us? I don't know. You acted on your own without even hearing out the details. You have to take responsibility for yourselves. That's... that's messed up. Of course. No sane person would think of taking over someone's house. I'm sure the police will be there soon. The police? What do you mean? You are trying to steal someone's house. That's a crime, isn't it? I didn't know anything about it. I just lived here because Nick told me to. Come on, do something about it. Please tell all that to the police. Me, my sister, nor her husband have anything else to do with this. Now if you'll excuse me. After that, 
Nick and my mother-in-law were taken away by the police. Thanks to Nick's uncle, they had a place to return to. But it seems like he told them that he was going to cut off all relations with them after. My ex-husband and my mother-in-law had to pay my sister and her husband reparations. The money they had on hand was now zero. To her dismay, Nick had gambling debts as well. Now, they can't even get a housing contract, so they have to find a job so they can live together. They are both working to death now. Serves them right. My sister and her husband decided to sell the house as well. My brother-in-law's work overseas is going very well, so he doesn't know when he will be able to come home. They were in the middle of thinking about what to do with the house. They laughed and told the real estate agent that it was involved in a strange incident, but they had decided to sell it. The location of the house was good, and the price of the land had skyrocketed. The house sold for almost the same amount as the purchase price. I'm glad I divorced that scumbag so early. I signed a contract for a new condo while continuing to do the work I have been doing. Maybe the single life is for me, huh? Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.